hello this is vasvi from at home so in this video we are going to learn how to solve uh, the pair of linear equations in two variables graphically as i told you earlier you would have a pair of linear equation right so you would have two equations here because it is for two variables you you have two variables in the equation right so you would normally they would in the question they would give you two equations let's see how to solve this so first uh, let's take the first equation x plus y equals 3 here we can have infinite solution for this as the x changes your y also changes okay so uh, you you can have infinite solution for this but here i just make a table here on which i'm going to just find out few of the, those values so that i can plot them in the graph okay so first i take when x is 0 when x is equal to 0 what happens you just plug in the value of x in the equation so you would get 0 plus y equals 3 right so you get your y as 3 understood your y is 3 here so let's write down that when your x is 0 your y is 3 let's give some other value for x so let me take when x equals 2 okay you can give any values so accordingly your y also ch same changes so this will be 2 plus y equals 3 right in the equation when you put the value of x you get this so your y would be 1 that is 3 minus 2 which is 1 okay so this is your next set of ordered pair you call them ordered pair so when your x is 2 your y is 1 so and now let's uh, take your, the y value as 0 okay when y equals 0 what happens to your x so it is x plus 0 equals 3 right x plus y equals 3 so here you have taken your y as 0 so that is x plus 0 equals 3 and hence your x is 3 okay when y is 0 your x is 3 did you understand how i got this table done now let's go plot this in the graph okay let's finish this off in the graph you have got a graph here so let me plot all those values the ordered pairs you can write the ordered pairs that is 0 comma 3 this is one ordered pair and the other one is 2 comma 1 and the third one is 3 comma 0 so let's plot that first i'm going to plot 0 comma 3 in the graph so here your x is 0 and your y is 3 so when x is 0 your y is 3 so it will be over here right this is the spot when your x is 0 your y is 3 then you have when x is 2 the next ordered pair is x comma 1 right so when your x is 2 your y is 1 so that comes here okay and finally when your x is 3 the last ordered pair was when x is 3 your y was 0 so now you got these three points marked so let me write that here this is 0 comma 3 okay and here this is 2 comma 1 just see when you add them up you are getting the 3 so you it is satisfying your equation so that's 3 comma 0 right so use your line uh, and then uh, just join them okay so your line just extend as much as possible so it is like this the linear yeah so i've just plotted this okay i can also write here this equation is for x plus y equals 1 cut it yeah now come back to your 
table. Second equation you have is x minus y equals 1. It is given in the question. Okay. So again the same thing when I put when x is 0. When x is 0 what happens to your y? Your y would be 0 minus y equals 1. Right. So your y is negative 1. You can plot that first. So these two let's plot. When x equals, this is for x and this is for the y. And when x equals 0, your y is negative 1. Now let's do when y equals 0. Okay, next let me take y as 0. So what happens? It is x minus 0 equals 1. So your x is equal to 1. So when y is 0, your x is 1. And finally, you can have one more number. You can use any number, okay? There is no restrictions like, you know. So let us take when x is some 3 or something, okay? x is equal to 3. So what happens? This is 3 minus x equals 1, right? So your minus x would be 1 minus 3. So that is minus 2. Okay. So your y will be negative y is minus 2. So your y is equal to 2. Understood? So when you take your x as 3, your y should be 2. This is for x minus y equals 1. And this one is for x plus y equals 3 right that we already plotted now i'm going to do this second one in the graph okay so that is the ordered pairs are 0 comma negative 1 1 comma 0 and 3 comma 2 okay so let's plot that in the same graph in which we had done already so now here what was your value your x is 0 and y is negative 1, right? Yeah, the first one is x is 0 and negative 1. Let's plot that. Your x is 0 and y is negative 1. So that would be here. Let me write the ordered pair there immediately. So that would be 0 comma negative 1, okay? And the next number is 1 comma 0. Let's plot that too. So it is 1 comma 0. So it is here, right? Your x is 1 and your y is 0. So this is 1 comma 0. Okay. And finally, the next one you had was uh, 3 comma 2. Let's plot that to 3 comma 2. So when x is 3, your y is 2. So that is here. That's 3 comma Two. Okay, that's two. Okay, good. Now let's join them two. Okay, using the line, you can just join them, draw a straight line. See, those points should coincide. You got this equation, and uh, this equation is for x minus y equals one. Okay. See where it meets, where the two lines intersect. So the two lines intersect here, right? I am using a red color to point out. So this is the place where the two lines are meeting. So the value over there, your x is 2 and your y is 1. Okay, see? You can see there, right? So the solution is your x equals 2 and your y equals positive 1 right so that's your solution and you got it understood so here I would like to tell you one more thing there are only three possible situations like solutions for these graphical representation when you solve for two linear equations with in two variables there are only three possible answers you can get one is here, I have mentioned all the three here. One is the independent system. 
it is independent because they are two different lines but they just have one solution in common one point where it, they meet and that point is your solution so here you have two independent lines meeting at one point and you have one solution here understood so that is what we got uh, in the previous sum you had one point of intersection right where the lines meet the second one is inconsistent system you call it inconsistent because these two lines are parallel lines okay they how much ever you extend they are going to be the same there is no change in its distance and they still remain the same distance how much ever you extend so you do not have a solution for it and that's why you call it inconsistent okay so here you had one solution when they meet that meeting point is one, one solution and it is an independent system because there are two different lines they are two different lines meeting at one point now the third one is dependent system you call it dependent system because the one line is on top of the other the both the lines would overlap okay so here itself you have both the lines where all these all the points on the line is common for both okay and you have infinitely many solution for this because right from the top of the line till the end everything coincide here you have uh, infinitely many solution okay if the lines are parallel then there is no solution and when the two lines intersect you will have one solution and i hope you understood how you solve it graphically right we'll do more problems on this in the coming videos bye take care